Hello everyone, Sir Mungisu Azabi here, back again with My Hero Academia Season 4. We are on episode 18, and in the last episode, uh, we had uh, the likes of Bakugo, Todoroki, Inasa, and Kami uh, obviously go up against the kids uh, and turn it into a fun time, um, and that's how they got through it. And it was really cool uh, to, to see them, like, you know, use their, their quirks in that way. It was, uh, it was really interesting. Um, so we had that. We also had uh, Oyama being creepy, though we found out the reason why is because... He finds that Deku is very similar to him in, uh, in that regard, and he wanted to encourage him, and now they are friends, uh, so that's cool. We also have the um, Todoroki um, and Endeavor uh, sort of father uh, thing going on that's, you know, it's basically Endeavor's redemption, um, and I'm like that they're taking it at a slow pace because obviously it shouldn't be something that is easily fixable. Um, so, you know, just, you know, let that sort of simmer, and eventually, like, you know, over time, that will become a thing, um, and uh, and yeah, so that's cool. Uh, other than that, I don't think uh, there's anything else really, so I think we're just going to get straight into episode 18 and see what we get. Of course, if you do want to go watch the reaction, you can do by uh, clicking the link down in the description. That will obviously take you to my website where the, the, uh, the actual reaction highlight is. But if you do want to go watch it in full, uncut, and everything like that, then you can do by going over to my Patreon page. The link is also in the description of that. And becoming a full length tier patron, that'll give you access to the full episode uh, uncut. Okay, so uh, so yeah, but I don't think there's anything else to talk about. So yeah, we're going to get an episode 18 and see what we get. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, episode 18, right. Uh, I really like that episode. It's kind of... It's 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 like a different different feeling, and I and I, I like it because it's such a it's so different from what we've had, especially like obviously in the first half of this season, um, you know because it, it just feels like we're, you know like we needed this break as a sort of you know to just let it be calm and nice for a while. Um, I mean even the villain in this episode is like so likable <laughs> he's like barely even a villain because he calls himself well he, he's he goes by gentle but he's like a gentle criminal um and then he's got this like sort of sidekick called um la brava uh so i don't know the ins and outs of what his quirk is um or what hers is but i, I like them <laughs> i love them it's great um, I love the fact that he's just this this gentleman that is, you know, does stuff not for any monetary gain or anything like that. I mean, even his goal is not, like, a, a villain thing, but he uses it because it, it propels, because he's a villain, and he uses it, like, I'm guessing it's just, I'm just going to call it YouTube, because that's basically what they mean by video site, isn't it? It's definitely YouTube. Um, and he puts on a show... And he just wants to be written into the history books <laughs> because of it. Um, that's it's just really cool. Like I just I like the idea of it, you know, with it being a sort of slice of life episode. Um, or I guess it's more attuned to a slice of life arc almost. I suppose. Um, it just even having the villain like not somebody that is, like, quote unquote like scary or like you know. That fills people with terror, like overhaul or um, uh, or oh, well, I can't remember his name. Fuck sake, uh, this always happens. This always fucking happens. Damn, 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 damn. God, it's really annoying. You know who I mean? <laughs> the League of Villains guy, right? Um. So, yeah, school festival. So that's what they're doing. Um. I figured, like, at the very beginning of the episode, when you had Mina dancing, like, break dancing, and then it came up with Jiro, like, playing, or, like, you know, that her rooms, like, a recording studio and stuff like that, that that would be the, like, you know, what the way we were going down, it would end up being something akin to that. I like the, I love the fact that they're going to be putting on a show and Jiro's, like, going to be, like, the head of it. I love that. Um, because, you know, if you don't know already, Jiro is, you know, like the waifu of the bunch that I, I chose to go for. Um, pretty much since... Oh God, it would have been pretty early on. Probably about episode 6, maybe. Somewhere like that. I think it was because we needed to get in the UA and then whenever we met her... It would have been around there, surely, right? It would have been... But, uh, but yeah, I'm glad that she's getting like a, a moment as well. Fucking hell, did she look cute and when she did that sort of like pose... Would you call it like? Otherwise, it wouldn't be rocking. <laughs> Fucking hell! 
<laughs> oh god. I knew there was a reason why I liked it. I knew it was. I mean, it, I guess the sort of earphone like jack thing, like you know, that she has from her, um, from her ears, kind of give it away at the very beginning. But I, I knew like that's the kind of character that she would be, um, you know. So and that's something that I just I picked up on uh, really early on. So yeah, I'm glad that she's getting her sort of like her time to to shine. Even though like she had like a little sort of a complex about the idea that she does things for a hobby, not necessarily stuff that will like that she thinks helps with heroing work um you know but uh but they kind of you know what the some of the classmates basically say that you know that that could actually end up working in her hero work in some form or fashion um you know i mean what they like to do with this show anyway is like you know sort of prop up hero work in different manners so it doesn't necessarily just mean rescuing people or defeating a villain but like you know even on the smaller scale to be a hero to somebody like you know when Midoriya and uh, Mirio went to see Eri even Deku said she hasn't really been saved so you're kind of tying in that, that hero work with she was saved yeah from the villain but mentally she's still in that sort of space um, and, you know, that's something that she hasn't really got over yet. So theoretically, she hasn't been fully saved. Um, so, you know, just by even taking her on a date, which I love, you know, because it, it's cute. Like, it's something that, you know, Eri, she never, she has, she doesn't know any of this stuff. You know, she's been like pretty much confined to a certain space um, and, uh, and like sort of like locked away. So, you know, it's nice that, that, that by bringing her on a date to the school festival is kind of like hero work in of itself so just tied with that Jero playing I, I suppose she's going to teach people how to play and they're going to put on like a, I, they're going to make a band out of it which is great um i assume that she's going to play, play bass then um because that's what she's playing in the opening um which i like by the way because bass guitar is one of the one of the instruments that i played when i was um uh when I was at school. I mean, I still have it. It's like behind my, my cupboard, but you know, I haven't played it in a while, but it's one of those that I actually learned when I took music for, um, in high school for my GCSEs. So, uh, that's cool. That's really cool. But, um, but yeah, I mean, fuck, I'm, uh, I, I just really like the change of pace from the first, um, from the first half of the season. You know, it's kind of like similar to season three in that regard. Um, by having like that, that whole first half be so almost like detrimental and tense and and everything that shit just you know went awry um you know night i died and just having the it's such a juxtaposition because having the good times helps with them healing from that um you know so obviously with eri and mirio and and deku and everything with the loss of night eye and everything that just by having these nice moments it's it, it it's really nice and it makes you appreciate the nice moments more because you know and i don't know how long we'll have them for <laughs> the nice times you know so you know you gotta you gotta uh, enjoy them while you can um da, 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 da. so yeah eri eri's really cute when <laughs> she speaks bless her you know what i mean because yeah i mean she's you know she's a little girl so the vo voice actress has done really well with the, uh with eri's voice i really like her um and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, I I like this this whole thing that they're going down with. I guess the school festival, what I would assume is a mini arc, and the main villain of that I guess is going to be Gentle, <laughs> and how he's going to use because it clearly, you know, he wasn't. Get, I guess they wasn't getting views for the latest one, so he's like, right, well, I've got to do something interesting. And then obviously it it sort of it, we got to look at Eri, Deku, and Mirio. So obviously they're going to be involved. It's, I mean, it's kind of like, even though I, I really enjoy Gentle right now, <laughs> um, I, I, it's just, even though I, he's not malicious, I don't, I still don't want him affecting Eri's date, you know? I just... I just want her to have a good time, you know. I don't want to be her to be affected by anything. I just want to go to the school festival and enjoy it, enjoy the enjoy the festivities. So even though I love Gentle and he's not malicious, I just don't want him affecting Eri and stuff. But it looks like that's the way that it's going to go. Um, I love the fact that he was he was going to party and the wind was just blowing it in her face and everything. Fuck's sake! 
<laughs> I don't. I don't think any character has like made such a, a, a phenomenal impact so quickly as Gentle has. I, 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 you know, I don't really think he's going to have. He's not really a character that, or it doesn't seem that he's a character that is going to make a, a, a massive impact. Um, which I guess is sort of bad for him because that's what he wants to do. Uh, you know, to go down the history books, obviously you have to make an impact. But like, as the over the story as a whole, I don't really know if he's, you know, a big character in that regard. But he's so, he's so like, it's weird. Like he's so full of the character's great. The voice actor's fantastic. I lo I, I love him. Yeah, <laughs> I really like him. Fucking hell. Anyway, I mean, I mean that's that's pretty much all I've got. I mean, there wasn't much to say. It was like, you know, I, I assume people are just going to call, like, this stuff filler, but I, I just, I, I like it. Fucking hell. Like, sue me. <laughs> I like the, the moments that you get. Because it's, you know, it, it doesn't have to be all, you know, gung-ho fighting villains and everything being tensed all of the time. Like, you've got to have... You've got to have these moments so that you appreciate the fucking the moments, you know. Like it's not, you can't just have it all fucking, you know, full pelt all the time. So yeah, people probably you know call this filler, you know what I mean. But you know, whatever, you know what I mean. I suppose they like what they like, but you know, I like it. I really. Like it. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much all I've got. So not much to really talk about in terms of that. So yeah, it's a pretty short video. Otherwise, like generally with my Hero Academia, I talk a lot like my discussions for my hero academia are generally quite long um but yeah i mean for this one it, it's it's more a case of episodes that i like i kind of just want to sit back and enjoy um and there's not much in the sort of overarching story there that like to theorize about or anything like that it's just i'm just i, just, I was just enjoying the episode so yeah i mean that's all i've got so thank you everyone for watching uh, in the description below, I have links to certain things. One of them is the Discord, so you can get yourself over there if you wish. Uh, and I also, also have a Patreon page as well. So if you do want to support me on Patreon, that would be very much appreciated. There is a bunch of different tiers and rewards there, depending on how much you want to support me with. So there's the early access tier for $5 a month. Gives you access to shows a week early. Um, there's also full length there for $10 a month. That gives you access to uh, the shows in full. So you don't just get the 10-minute cut version. You get the full, like, all of the episode um, and whatnot. And there's also other tiers there where you can pay and have a show, a show reacted to. So if you want me to react to a certain show, go look at those tiers and see what they offer. But that is all I got. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.